crops and all these things. So in this agriculture, you can define as that cultivation of the animals, plants, and other food products for human life that's known as agriculture. So agriculture depends on some factors because when you are talking about growing the crops, so you will find that different crops are, you can say cultivated in different parts of the world. Why due to the climate? Some crops they need, uh, you can say a very hot weather like uh, dates. So you cannot cultivate them in the cold areas where you have the snowfall. And also the culture, culture means some areas, for example, in some countries they need some they love some kind of a food you'll find that mostly the people they you can say cultivate that field and sometimes the technology because uh, in some countries if they're poor so they will not grow the crops which needs higher technology and after that economics means financially they are strong or not so when they are talking about agriculture so agriculture of any country depends on these four factors. Number one, the climate of that country. It is hot, it is snowy, whatever. According to that, people do the agriculture. Then the culture. What is the culture? For example, here in Saudi Arabia, you find these dates and gahwa, all this in their culture. And they will go as a guest. So they will serve with these things. So here you'll find they will try to cultivate more dates. After that technology, for example, in some countries, if they need special type of machine, if they have, then they will cultivate that one, otherwise no. After that economics, the means if the cultivation of any crop needs more money, so maybe the poor countries will not do that one. So these are the four factors on which the agriculture depends of any country. Now, these are very, very easy. Agriculture types. Number one, arable agriculture. What does it mean? Arable agriculture means that you are just growing the crops like wheat and barley. You are just growing the crops like wheat, barley, oil seed wrap, peas and beans, sugar beet beet and potatoes. So if you will just crops only, crops, that is known as arable agriculture. And other type is, for example, here, all they are cultivating about the crops only. Other one is pastoral agriculture. Pastoral agriculture means instead of crops, they do the livestock. Hello, sorry, what did you say? Your sound is lagging, sir. Your mm -hmm. sound is lagging. Your sound is lagging. Can you hear me now properly? Hello, can you hear me, everyone? Hello. 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 Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, sir. Oh. Now we can hear you. Okay, thank you. Maybe the internet issues. Sorry for that. Okay. So now in the other type is pastoral agriculture. Pastoral agriculture, very 
the simple instead of the crops you will you can say livestock livestock means animals you will grow them like farming raising beef okay for uh, you can say sheep for the wool then you have the hen for the eggs whenever so this is main difference between the arable and the pastoral means here you are just animals only you are growing animals and in the first one you are growing only the crops this one arable this is the main difference between them and third type is mixed mixed mean people are doing both on they are also growing the uh, you can say the crops and also they are growing with the animals and this is in most country it is done like you can say in india malaysia even pakistan in sudan also the people have both things in afghanistan china central europe all these things so they are doing both things they are also for example if have they have a field like this so in the small area they will make it for animals and here they will grow the crops so they will do both that's known as mixed agriculture any confusion is it easy yes sir okay after that you have subsistence subsistence agriculture subsistence agriculture it means that you are doing the agriculture you are growing the crops you are also growing the animals only for your own needs for your own needs or maybe little more than your needs you don't have any plan to sell them you are just growing both things only to fulfill your own needs that's known as subsistence agriculture but if you will do this thing for selling purpose you want to sell them and to get money to get cash so that's known as commercial agriculture is it clear any confusion no okay so here they are just giving the can say comparison between two because commercial and subsistence agriculture so here you can see what is the first one cultivation of food to meet the needs of farmers and their families here cultivation of food with the main aim of selling them for cash here surplus is bartered for other goods you know the meaning of barter who will tell me this one before a barter system you didn't study in social barter system because before when there was no money the people are exchanging the things for example if a farmer he grow he grow the wheat if he need kind of sugar he will go to the other farmer if he has a sugar he will give him some wheat and take some sugar if he need clothes so he will go to a person who is selling the clothes he will give him some wheat the wheat is used by the person who is selling clothes for eating and he will give this so this was barter system exchanging so they are saying that the surplus thing which you are getting from this substance agriculture maybe you can exchange with other people the goods for example some people you give them wheat and you can take them rice from them like this and commercial some food may be used by the farmers okay example like tea coffee in a small amount they can use it like this one so understand the difference between sub sub <coughs> sorry subsistence and commercial agriculture any confusion no 
Okay, after that you have arable and pastoral. Here again, I told you very simple. In this you have plants only, mean the crops. Here you have animals only. Here you have rice, wheat, maize, soybean. Here you have grass. The and you you need you need them for what for animals. For example, here animals and what for what you need for milk. You need for wood. You need for eggs. Understand? So here mixed in which both they also rare mean grow the animals. And also they grow the crop that's known as mixed. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. I think till today it's enough. And in next class on Sunday, we will continue this one. So I will send you the notes for both even for this one. So let's see, inshallah. Any question regarding today's lesson? No, sir. Okay, so I try to quickly review it for you. It will be easy to remember then. Can you see the chapter three now, heading? Yes. Okay, now in this chapter, they're talking about the soil. Soil, we know that's a layer on the earth and sometimes it's called dirt. Soil is a mixture of organic matter mineral gases liquid organisms we'll see which minerals are present like sand silt and clay if you talk about organic content you will find the living plants their dead plants dead animals or microorganisms are there if you talk about air so you can find the air between the soil particles after that water you can see water also present between the soil particle if you see the proportion of the composition of the soil, you can find mainly these. Air is 25%, mineral 45%, water 25%, and organic matter. In organic matter, you have humus, roots, and humus roots, and organisms, there are only 5%. What is humus? Humus is a dark organic material. It has the plants and animals who are died inside. So then you have the type of soil, sandy soil, more sand it has, and it is, uh, you can say uh, hot and the water cannot be stored inside this one. The water will be drained quickly. The clay, it has more clay, almost 25% clay it has. It is heavy, it can store the water and it is colder as compared to the sandy soil. Silt soil, silt is a also type of a mineral and you can find the medium size of particles here. And it's also light and it also keep the moisture inside them. The peat soil is special, which is used by, you can say, making the, some plants and organic compounds, mix them and is prepared and is mainly used for gardening purposes. And chalk soil, from the chalk, you can say it is uh, calcium carbonate contained, so it is alkaline in nature. So it is good for alkaline type of the plants, but if any plant who need acidic soil, it will not helpful for them. After that, you have loam soil. Loam soil is a mixture of sand, silt, and clay. So all these, so this is a good type. And uh, after that, you have the soil, the component from where they comes. They come due to weathering. What is the weathering? Breakdown of the rock into small pieces. Erosion, it means moving the small particles due to weathering to, to another place. That's known as erosion. And after that, we have how the weathering, weathering has types like physical weathering, weathering due to water, heat and ice this is known as physical weathering. You can see the examples here. Chemical weathering like due to the acid rain, you can find these small holes in the soil. And after that, you have the biological means the, the animals and plants. Plants, I showed you the different the diagram in which plant is breaking the, you can say different type of rocks. After that, the sand, you are comparing the sand, silt, and clay according to their size. Just go through this one. And after that, which things, which things are, you can say, needed for a plant? It needs a nutrients. It needs a secure roots. It also needs supply for water. It needs oxygen. Which are the elements which are very important for the growth of a plant? Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. After that, what are the organic content? 
which are good. That is earthworms because they break down the vegetation, fungi or fungi because it is uh, decompose the wood and other items into simple nutrients. And after the bacteria, it also converts the waste products into simple chemicals. And highly organic matter in the soil is good to, for moisturing also. If you have a air, you can see how the air and water distributed inside the soil. After the decomposer, again, the bacteria and fungi and fungi, they are decomposed. If they are present in the soil, it's good. The pH of the soil, it depends on the which type of raw materials are inside this one, in which area, maybe the acid rain, which type of plants are cultivated, or the farmers, they are trying to change the pH of the soil or not. It depends on that. These are the elements and these are their effect. If they are less in desired quantity, what are their effect? You go through this table. Again, sanded clay, they are comparing large air space, less air space like this. So this is for the previous one. And the new one, we just did the agriculture. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, yes. inshallah, see you on Sunday. So have a nice weekend and take rest. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam.